so hello guys hello guys hello guys <laughs> hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze 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 peperempe <laughs> and this is neze peperempe oh my god where do i even start where do i start from this there's so much there's so much to spill at the same time i don't even know where to start from okay let me start from compliments of the season compliments of the season guys i hope you have it fun ah, merry christmas happy new year compliments of the season guys how are you doing how are you guys doing i have missed you guys on here it seems like eternity since i came here so how is christmas coming for all of us did we travel? Are we out and about? Are we working? What are we doing? Are we just relaxing and eating and getting fatter? Waiting to go back to Fit Farm in January? How is your holidays going? Anyways, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're healthy, safe, happy. And I hope you're happy to see my face because I sure am happy to see yours. I know. I know, I know, I disappeared. I disappeared for a while and there is good reason for that. I'm going to spill all of that in this video. But first, I want to thank everybody that reached out to me god you guys are amazing you guys were checking up on me on other social media handles ig facebook you guys were concerned you were sending your well wishes your love and all of that i really do appreciate that talking about instagram many of you guys are not following me on instagram <laughs> do better do better <laughs> so my instagram handle is at nezaville Mm. i'm going to leave the link in the description box you guys should follow me there we're going to be a lot a lot a lot more active god willing <laughs> i've shared so many pictures beautiful amazing pictures memories there on my stories on my posts so follow me on instagram like do boy, boy, what would i do on instagram share because there's so many things you won't see on youtube but you'll find on instagram you understand that anyways guys so um today's video is like a, just a comeback video and a chit chat video and um um, in this video i have good news and i have bad news yeah bad news yeah so which would you like me to start from good or bad news okay let me start with good news because you guys have waited for me long enough and i shouldn't just come breaking bad news to you guys so let us start this just with good news and who can guess the good news <laughs> Who can guess? I'm sure from my looks, you guys can tell already what the good news is about because there are some changes going on. Well, for those who haven't guessed, <laughs> the good news is that I, your darling Neze Pepe Rempe, <laughs> your celebrity lawyer, <laughs> has put to bed. I have welcomed my beautiful, amazing, long waited for, long prayed for, long dreamt about baby girl <laughs> guys my beautiful perfect baby is here she came out a very healthy 3.5 kg baby actually my smallest baby ever mm. i've never had a baby less than 4 kg and i heard that the more babies you have the bigger the more pounds the pack up but well that just shows that that's a myth because this one progressed backwards in terms of size so um i had a beautiful 3.5 kg baby the body but we will use pounds convert it to pounds yeah and she's good she's growing she's everything i've dreamt about she's everything i dreamt of i don't know if she looks like me or if she looks like my husband but you guys are going to meet her very soon you're going to see her and be the judge of that yourselves i don't have to tell you guys how much i've waited all my life <laughs> for those that know me from backyard for those that know me reach my domots you know that i grew up as an only girl and i wasn't that only girl that didn't care i was a tomboy rode with my brothers football i was like princess kind of only girl and i always wanted that girly that sisterly love you know and i recall when my mother came back with my third brother the last born and the first thing i asked was is he a boy or a girl? And when she made it was a boy, I started crying. But I cannot stop telling that story. It was that bad. So I kept on begging my mom to try for another baby. I was younger then. I didn't know that, <laughs> that somebody can actually bar break when it comes to childbirth. I just thought that it was something that she didn't want to do for me. So I was not happy that she didn't want to give me a baby sister. So I grew up with that feeling. Oh God, sister, sister, sister thing. And that's why 
I can treasure friendships. Like if I love somebody, I just automatically convert that person to my sister and I start giving that person sister benefits. That's the kind of friendship I have with my good friend's sister friendship because I've always had this sister vacuum that I always wanted to fill. So when I got married and I started having children, <laughs> you can imagine the, the shock when number one, baby boy, number two, baby boy, oh, like, oh my God, you mean I don't have a sister and I'm not going to have a daughter? Oh my God, God have mercy on me please i need this gift i need it i need it like the air i breathe and hallelujah god has given me my greatest heart desire my biggest life desire and i am ecstatic i am so happy i feel so blessed i feel so complete i feel so i don't know how to describe the feeling but the feeling is good the love the level of love the amount of love i have enjoyed from you guys in this past few months have been enormous i also want to seize this opportunity quickly before it escapes me to thank my youtube soul sisters for that amazing baby shower that was held for me that surprise baby shower it was so beautiful because that was my first baby shower ever and possibly the last <laughs> <laughs> so it was so beautiful you guys put in so much work to make me happy what you know you guys you guys didn't owe me that but you gave me that you honored me i really do appreciate you at daisy space Asi darling nello okk chantel anyawu ij's corner so tea you guys are the best i thank you guys and i appreciate you guys so much my family my three sisters-in-law and my mother-in-law who was there, my other friends and colleagues at work. I really appreciate all of you for what you did for me. I'm grateful. So what have I been up to since delivering baby? Yeah, baby came December earlier in the month of December. And what have I been up to? Maternity leave, yes. Uh, time to relax, bonding with my daughter. Not just my daughter, my whole children. You guys know that I'm away a lot because of work so this maternity leave is an opportunity for me to bond not just with my baby but with my sons as well so all of us we are bonding loving each other my sons are obsessed <laughs> obsessed with their sister i was thinking I, I was going to be the only one obsessed but my husband is obsessed with his only daughter my sons are obsessed with their only sister and me i'm obsessed with the gift i've been waiting for in fact there eh? oh my god my friends one of my friends said this baby go here them. <laughs> she go here them with love <laughs> drunk in love so we are all just obsessing with baby you know kissing kissing hugging hugging carrying carrying loving loving it's beautiful i'm also trying to heal you know it's been a very very tumultuous nine months you guys my pregnancy was difficult <laughs> i was sick throughout plus climax in the procedure so i'm just healing from all the cuts and stitches and scars oh it's not easy doing it the fourth time my body has my body has seen pepe <laughs> bearing children in these last few years so i'm just healing from all the bohala inflate and deflate inflate and deflate ah cuts here scars here pain oh god I'm just relaxing, taking it a day at a time, healing gradually, and you know, getting back to me. I miss me. I miss Pepe Rempe trying to get back to me, you know. So, of course, the spitting has stopped. Oh, God. That is the part I was looking forward to stopping the most. The spitting has stopped. The train up has stopped. I can't believe that I can actually brush my teeth in the morning without throwing up. You know, the, the pelvic pain has stopped. I had very excruciating pelvic pain. I was literally limping like someone that had only one feet. I was limping terribly. That pain has stopped. The aversion to smell has stopped. And the constant urination has also stopped. So, um, of course, I'm getting relieved. But there are some things that I, I still remain. There are some things that would gradually take time to, you know, heal um like the weight gain <laughs> the weight gain is there the weight gain is on 100 of course with time slowly and steadily that will be lost to then um what else that black line that comes up on the pregnant woman's stomach is still very much visible that will take months for those that have not had babies updates that will take that will take months to fade away sometimes yes yeah the protruding belly <laughs> uh i look i still look um should i say four months pregnant yeah i still look four months pregnant yeah good so the protruding belly is still there the swollen feet is still very much there yes my feet is still swollen 
and the doctor says it's going to take um, a while that sometimes it even takes months for the swollen feet to to deflate yeah so my feet is still a bit swollen then discoloration of course i have makeup on because i shot for my other channel my reaction channel if not <laughs> but if you look closely you will see that my neck is still very much dark my neck and chest is still very much darker than my face so so the skin discoloration is still very much there and i'm not even in a hurry to change it i'm not in a hurry i'm not even creaming yet i'm not yeah, I'm exfoliating, I'm just that dating. I'm just leaving myself for it to naturally fade off, for me to naturally return to normal. Yeah, so no pressure at all. Guys, really, 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 my life has changed. My life has changed totally. Sometimes I look at myself, I look at my children all around me, and I'm like, Ada, are you really a mother of four? When did you just get married? Like, when did you just come out of the university? It's still surreal. I still almost cannot believe it that I'm a mother responsible for four human beings, full human beings, full fledged human beings. So um, there's like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's a very big difference between a mom of three and a mom of four. Four is like a handful, like a bowl full. So yes, I'm trying to settle in and raise up as a mom of four and be available for my four children. And um, the sleepless nights, of course, you guys know the routine with newborns. They sleep all day. If you like, turn them upside down, shake them, mm, put them in a bottle, they'll still be sleeping. Then at night, they'll pop their eyes open and start looking at you. And what betide you, <laughs> some of them will not even want to lay on the bed. They'll want you to carry them all through the night. So same with my baby. Although my baby is not so demanding at night as much as my sons were, but of course, she keeps me late at night. So. I'm up all night then during the day I find a little time to sleep although it's not easy for me to sleep because I've always been a working mom so sleeping during the day has never been part of my system I find it very difficult to sleep during the day so most times I'm sleep deprived because I can't sleep at night and I cannot sleep during the day but I know it's part of it I asked for this so I'm very ready and I know that in good time it will pass it's a whole new experience being a mom of a girl I remember on the fifth day after my baby came, I was like, are we not going for circumcision? <laughs> I've had three boys. I'm so used to going for circumcision after a week or so. And it was so weird. Oh my God. Okay, no circumcision. Okay, see her hair. I had to put bows. In fact, the minute she was born, I went to put one bow. My mother said, remove this thing from this girl's hair though. Is she what I In Igbo, it means her head has not matured enough. Remove this. Stop giving this baby headache. I was like, mommy. <laughs> you seem not to understand how long I've waited for this. Allow me to decorate this girl. Oh. Allow me to decorate this girl. <laughs> so, it feels so good. Always trying to dress her to match. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, it feels like I'm dreaming. You guys don't understand. I've not settled to the blessing yet. Oh. I've not even come to terms with what has happened to me. It still feels like a dream to me. My joy is overwhelming. So, that is the good news that has happened. Mm, the bad news. Mm, the bad news okay well maybe it's not as serious as i put it to some people but to me it is <laughs> it's almost like a tragedy so the bad news that happened is that i lost loads loads and lots lots of my content like my pregnancy content i lost everything after the baby shower, there were so many other content that was supposed to come after it. The shopping for baby, preparing for baby, my last antenatal, um, names that I would like to give but I'm not using, the delivery vlog itself, checking into the hospital, lots of content, like up to 12 to 15 content, different content that I had already shot and you know, because I was working 9 to 5, catering to 3 children, heavily pregnant and sick, running 2 YouTube channels, I was overwhelmed. So it wasn't possible for me to be releasing the content as they were coming. So what was my husband was not even around, my husband was out of town for work, so it was just me. So it wasn't possible for me to, to be releasing the content as they were coming. So I was filming and keeping, I, I was filming and keeping and you know, bringing them out little by little as I could edit. Guys, I don't know what happened. The system just reformatted itself and wiped off all my content. And alas, they were not saved in any other external device or external hard drive. I'm not even an IT kind of person. I'm not IT prone. I'm not IT inclined. 
so i didn't even think of doing that so all my content all my con in fact then i looked for tears i didn't find tears all my content wiped off and it was so painful to me so so painful not just for content sake not even for content sake at all if it were like a regular or oh, reaction oh this happened this man this divorce this that if it's those that kind of content fine new gist would always come up but this was but these were personal intimate content that i wanted to keep i wanted to see in 10 years time i wanted my daughter to watch documenting me bringing my daughter to life is so precious to me that the loss of it almost felt like the loss of a person that was how i felt it was so painful like i lost sleep i couldn't even eat like i did everything to get it back they were corrupted when i got them back it was so painful to me it was so painful to me that i just tuned off youtube it's not like i was i've not been strong enough to shoot or to post though i have i got strong enough for that about one week after baby came but the pain pain of losing all those content that i shot in ill health i managed i struggled i suffered to shoot just for my daughter's memory the thought of losing it put me in a very bad place that i didn't even want to create content again i didn't want to see youtube i wasn't even going on youtube again i didn't want to i wasn't going to my analytics i didn't care what income i didn't care what videos i didn't care what i had post i hadn't posted in months i just tuned off youtube i was so bitter but i guess i have healed and i'm getting better now and i just have to come back yeah so please if you're a content creator learn from my mistakes hmm? don't just save your content on your laptop have a hard drive or an external hard drive whatever that you can always keep your content please don't be a victim like me please so that's what happened i'm still trying to see if i can recover it when my husband comes around he's more of the it tech person i'll still see whether there's anything he can do if i get the content i know it will be like going backwards but i will still have to post them not only for you guys if you don't want if you feel like it's not going to interest you i don't feel like watching it's very fine you don't have to watch it it's for it's it's very personal to me i want it out there i want those memories saved i want my daughter to see them i want to watch them i want to be reminded of what everything was like so if i can still get those contents i will still post them but if i can't well i will see it as fate as the will of god and i would move on but it's 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 it was really painful they were really emotional content if you know any software or anything that maybe you maybe such a thing has happened to you before if you know any software that i can use to retrieve such things or whatever you think i can do please your recommendation and advice are highly welcome please drop in the comment section okay so guys i think that's that for this video just wanted to let you guys know that i have delivered very safely and um my baby and i are perfectly fine no issues no comma as time goes on maybe i'll tell you about the birth experience and other procedures i had to undergo it wasn't easy but it was worth it and um to god be the glory i thank god it ended in praise i thank you guys for your love and support we have so many pictures the maternity shoots and all of that on instagram don't forget to follow me and um, like the post and you know just come with me if there are any suggested topics or suggested videos that you would like me to shoot as a new mom let me know in the comment section and yours truly might just honor that i know congratulations are in order for me please drop all your sweet messages in the comment section love to read them so thank you so much guys for watching at this juncture i'm gonna draw the curtains okay i love 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 you guys it's me your girl barista neze neze wa neze pepe rempe <laughs> and this is neze pepe rempe i'll see you guys in my next video and yes the next video you guys are going to be seeing is um 24 hours after my baby came 24 hours after baby's delivery i think from that part from that part of the documentary was still in my memory stick so i didn't lose that part so yes you are going to be watching um 24 hours after baby came me coming back to the house mom-in-law mother you know mugo and all of that good stuff so please still come with me through the journey okay i love you guys bye